Hey yo, so another boring video about cars and today uh, I'm gonna put a leveling kit, a two inch spacers on the front lift kit on my truck since um, those tires they gotta go. They're too small, they're way too small. Uh, these are 275, 65, 18, so they're like 31s. Plus minus, they're about 31s. I already got the spacers on them. I got one inch spacers here, an inch, actually an inch and a half spacers in here. Um, just to give it a little bulky look. And I got a set of Ford Raptor rims and tires on the way right now from another part of Russia from a 2022 Raptor. Uh, I bought a whole set that way I can have my winter set of tires and I'll have my summer set of tires uh, since we changed tires in Russia in the northern part of Russia and the whole part of Russia actually except for the little bit of south there nobody changed tires well anyways they're gonna rub so I need to put a lift kit, lift kit on it and I already got the lift kit no it's not a kit it's just spacers let me show you in my little uh, shed here so that's what I'm gonna be putting on it they're about two inches so I gotta take apart the uh, shocks take them out and bolt these babies to the uh, to the shocks on the truck and to do that I got to jack up the front jack up the front take the wheels off and uh, let me put them right here Take the wheels off and take all this crap out of the way to get this bad boy right here, the shock absorber. And that's the three bolts that hold it on top. So that's what I'm going to be doing. And I figured I'm going to start on it tonight and uh, probably finish uh, doing it tomorrow. So that's what, that's what the video is going to be about. Just doing a leveling kit on the truck. We got the wheel off. And I forgot to measure before. So before, this was at 90 centimeters. A picture should be on your left or on your right. And then when we're done with it, we're also going to measure it. And it should be at like 98 centimeters high. From the ground to the bottom of the fender or the uh, fender flares. Make sure to be safe. Everybody always, always says that I got a nice little spare tire. And a couple blocks of 8x2s. I think she's fine and I also got the jack on there that I'm not gonna be using to hold the uh, uh, the knuckle down whenever I'm gonna disconnect it you might ask me why am I not doing it in the shop I mean labor is cheap well the simple reasoning and question for that is uh, I don't trust people I just don't you know uh, just like this wheel bearing right here the wheel bearing comes with this little bitty wire right here, right? And if for some reason somebody's going to break the wire off that wheel bearing, uh, the wheel bearing on this truck costs like 300 bucks. The shop's not going to cover it. What they're going to do is they're going to just put it back together and say, hey, we never checked that the ABS light was on or wasn't on. It's not our fault. That's why I'd rather do it myself. Plus, uh... In my previous life, I was an auto mechanic, and it's kind of, kind of lame to pay somebody else for the shit that you can do yourself with a jack. So that's the reason why I'm doing it myself. All right, let's see what we got going on here. So we need to disconnect this bolt right here. We need to take the uh, caliper off, and and hang it right here. Then we have to disconnect this sway bar. This little linkage here to the sway bar uh, we gotta disconnect the uh, the steering the steering knuckle right here then we got two bolts on the bottom hauling the the strut and three bolts on top hauling the strut plus all this little bitty bolts right here this one this one and I think that one right here size 10 and size 8 and pretty much that's it. Then we get, we get a crowbar and try to pry this sucker out of here. Uh, it's pretty simple from this stand of, stand of point, stand of view or whatever. 
um oh we also have to disconnect the bolt on the axle this little cap comes off and there's like a little size 12 or a half inch uh nut on it you just connect that and when you pull this knuckle out the shaft the drive shaft will stay in there the axle is going to stay in there so it don't pop out from the front differential so the fluid don't drip or anything so also you got to get that off and uh that's pretty self-explanatory right here so let's uh let's get on it all right as you can see my time lapse that was 20 minutes exact and that's up so let me show you what i got going on here so we got everything loose you need to get the nut out to get the axle out out of here you need to loosen that thing up this one and make sure you get all these cables nice and loose so when you pull down on this on the lower control arm the tension is not going to snap your uh, electrical wiring all i got to do now is get those three bolts out of here and put my pry bar in here and try to pry that sucker out so taking it apart it's about um let's say a 30 minute job from the time you take the wheel off to the time you take the strut out it's 30 minutes so give me uh let me take those three bolts holding this strut out let me let me just take those bolts off and i'll be right back in a second okay i can take these suckers out and then take the top bolt loose and voila Ta -da! she's out Whew. so like i said it's a 30 minute job just to take it apart and about another 30 minutes to put it back in might be 35 so overall one hour per side it's a two hour job now the most important part will they fit bolt pattern wise okay da -da -da. they fit ladies and gentlemen they're on whoo baby they're on so let me you can see this is our lift this is a leveling kit that way the front of the truck is just as high as the back of the truck and i can fit my 35s on it my 35 inch tires so let's uh let's bolt these up in here that's what i'm going to do now i'm going to bolt them up and what i'm have to what i will have to do is uh, uh stand here baby what i have to do is these are the original bolts that hold it up top over there the strut tower they don't fit in here so i will i'm gonna hope that these ones that came with the kit gonna fit in there with the washer and these ones fit here and oh, no she's turning out hold on they screwed in uh, let's try again yay they fit awesome All right, uh, let's uh, let's put this together. Let me yank that thing back in there. Uh, let me get the uh, the fast forward camera on, and I'm gonna put it back together and put the tire on, and we'll see that we get our you know our couple inches of lift. Of course, we're gonna get it. I'm just not sure how many we're gonna get from this two inch. It's a little bit less than two inch spacer, a little bit less. So we're gonna see what we're gonna get from it. All right, stay tuned. Fun fact about stuff from China. So these holes right here are really tight. So when you tighten up these two, you can't fit a socket into the third one. So what I had to do is I had to, that was a long time ago, I had to shim the socket. Uh, I just shimmed it, made it smaller in the diameter and I'm glad I have it I never I never throw anything away from from two tools and that fit just right in there so that regular socket if you screw it in and you can't get it out so that's one fact of Chinese crap uh, yeah but that's not a problem for any decent mechanic that is not a problem at all even for an amateur mechanic so I got that all tight I'll bolt it down now. Let's put it back together. Yeah, let's set up another time lapse. 
one thing I forgot. So, since the strut is rotated 180 degrees, those, I mean, uh, zoom the camera in, those bolts right here, you see how they are? They're not, they're not level, right? They're not straight with a the strut. They were this way. So I had to bend them out this way so it's easier for the uh, for the bottom mount to to slide into them for them to slide into the bottom part of the uh, suspension. So that's one thing I forgot about, and it's dark out already since uh, I had to do something else. But anyways, uh, I don't know how look how good the hyperlapse is gonna look like, but let me. Uh, Put it in and try to stick it back in all right well there you have it um, looking at the time lapse you can see yeah it took me about just about the same amount of time to put it back together and then to take it apart I mean uh, it was a little hard to uh, put the strut bolts into the lower control arm that was uh, you know it took, took, took me about a good five ten minutes to do that but then after that it all went smooth and man it feels like it it's a lot higher that two inches made a big difference uh from when putting the upper control arm back into the uh knuckle thing here uh let me show you here look what it looks like so i know you can't you can you can't really see it it's dark outside now but we got it all put it back together all the bolts are tight all the wires are tight the connectors are connected uh, brake calipers back on it. We need to put that little piece right here, and uh, that's about it. Just put that little cap there and make sure that one's tight. But I think I, I think I I'm gonna double check, and I'm gonna stick a wheel on it, jack it up, take the uh, take my ghetto jack stands from under it, and see uh, see what it looks like. Yeah. All right, then you have it. Well, come on, the light. That looks a lot bigger. It gave me 10 centimeters of height in the front. I mean, yeah. Yeah, now 35s will fit on it just fine. I wonder how it's gonna ride. I still have to do an alignment to it. And uh, we'll see. Anyways. So I'm gonna do the other side tomorrow since uh, since it's dark out and I don't feel like working on it anymore. But I have to do the other side because I can't drive one sided with one side being uh, lifted. But I'm quite happy with the turnaround because that gave me you know it gave me 10 centimeters. I mean hell man, that's uh, that's like what four inches. Yeah, that gave me a four inch. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. So five centimeters is two inches. Yeah, that gave me a uh, four inch lift. Holy cow. I can even put some bigger tires on it now. No, I already got the 35s. All right, see you in a second. It'll be in the morning. So here comes the next day. And uh, beautiful day, of course, early morning. It's time to do this side. Yep, it's time to do this side. Oh man, she's looking good. She's pretty high. Last night I couldn't really tell, but you can definitely see the difference how much higher it is. It's now equally high as the back end. Well, you can't really, you know, tell, but I can tell. So let's move all these tools to the other side, jack up the truck, and uh, get on it. I don't know how hard is it to get to those bolts here. Oh, they're right here. That's not hard. All right. Just got to move some of these lines out of the way. Quite simple. All right. Cool. Let's get on it then. All right. Got the wheel off. Got all my tools ready. It's the same tools. Dude, what are you barking at, Bruce? Um, got my ghetto jack stand looking good so it's the same thing here uh, exactly the same taking this bolt taking the caliper off 
the tie rod bolt and the strut bolt and the sway bar bolt, bolt off and these little ones and that's it drop it down take the disc brake off not to put too much weight on it and pull this sucker out and uh, three bolts on top here um, so it's the same same exact thing um, I don't think I'm gonna do another fast forward video uh, you get the point I did one side so now I'm gonna do the other side once I take it all out I'm gonna film it then all right got the uh, got the shot out Took me about the same amount of time. Now I'm gonna put the spacer onto the strut and I'm gonna put it all back together. The only thing I did different this time is I took the whole uh, caliper bracket and the caliper together and just hang it there. And there's no point in disconnect the uh, caliper separately and then the bracket separately. That was stupid. Um, that way it comes off all together with brake pads and you just let it hang there and that's it. So it's quite, quite simple. Then I'm also going to put a little bit of grease in here and uh, should be good to go. So let me, uh, let me put the spacer on it and let me put it all back together and we'll see what, how, how it looks when it's all done. Both sides done and uh, it looks pretty good. Check it out. leveling kit and you can see yeah it's it's right level right now that is it looks so much better now all i'm waiting is for the tires i'll get the tires in a couple days and i'm gonna take them well i'm gonna take the truck right now i'm gonna drive it for a day let the suspension settle the bushings and stuff and then i'm gonna uh drive it to the alignment place and get it aligned since that's the old tires i don't really care for them that much and then uh then i'm gonna pick up the new tires and rims that i'm got on my way right now they should be here in about two three days and uh take them to the uh take them to get balanced and stuff put them on and i'll show you so i'll see you in a second when i'm picking up my tires all right for y'all it's been a second for me it's been like four days i'm going to pick up my Raptor rims and tires uh, well they're off of a Raptor um, they're not mud tires they're like all season tires uh, since I don't do a mud, that much mudding and then after that I'm getting to I'm going I'm taking it to the shop to get the uh, the alignment done right away and um, and get the tires balanced and stuff so uh, yeah I'm quite excited about this all right, I'm backing up to pick up the tires. I don't know if you can see them behind me. Yep. So I'm at the shop. Tires look pretty good. These tires are huge compared to my stock ones. Like, damn. There you go. Man, she looks badass right now. And plenty of, plenty of clearance here. Even when you turn, I already tried to turn it. I got maybe that about an inch here maybe half an inch here between this thing but this sucker I can beat it out with a sludge hammer if it's gonna interfere looks good all right got the other side down now let's get the alignment Ooh, looking good looking good And I also wanted to take the uh, steps off because it looks ridiculous with the steps. I don't like them every time I get out the vehicle. My leg is dirty because I go over them to step on the ground. I only step on them when I get inside. 
but here it is getting its alignment done so there you have it my Ford is done just the way I wanted it to be it's got the uh, leveling kit 35 inch tires I got the uh, side, side steps off And man, it looks really good now. I mean, it looks like a truck now. And it's not rubbing. Well, we'll see off-road if it's gonna rub or not. But man, she looks good. Thing I forgot to mention is the cost and the prices for those of y'all that like to know how much stuff costs in Russia. So the two inch leveling, uh, kit lift kit i ordered from china on aliexpress that was like 40 dollars uh the rims and tires i bought them on the russian craigslist i mean the tires are pretty much brand new the rims uh are take off from a uh, 2020 2022 raptor i paid for them uh a thousand one thousand one hundred dollars uh to ship them from brands that's like somewhere maybe a thousand miles to ship them a thousand miles was 60 bucks uh, to do the alignment on the truck and to put the tires on the truck I paid I think uh, like $40 so uh, all together comes out to uh, comes out to 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 1200 roughly for everything work tires rims alignment um, man that's pretty cheap I mean yeah that's not bad at all so for 1200 bucks i got this set up um yeah just want to mention that for those that like to know the prices as always thanks for watching don't really care if you subscribe or not but thanks for subscribing you know and uh everybody have a great day peace